Hey everyone, it's Scrap Lady here. I am actually going to do a crafty video today. Um, I am doing a uh, more or less tutorial, and I learned this um, from a tutorial I watched, which I will link below, um, on how to make an envelope kind of trifold, or it's more than trifold because I have more than five envelopes, but it's very quick, very easy. I want to make um, my daughters and their dad, their dad's visiting, and um, so they went to um, Arcadia National Park, and so they posted a whole bunch of pictures on Facebook, and I want to surprise them and make an album for um, each of them, and, um, you know, copy the pictures and put them in it, and I did one um, just covered it and, and did the envelope so far so basically this is what it's gonna look like um, so you can open it up okay and it's all flaps it's just with envelopes and then it goes like this and then it can go again like this Put some glue on here and like this and like this so it actually really opens up uh, I can't see that but you know opens up all like this it's all attached so and you just fold them uh, so I'm going to show you how to put it together and I'm going to show you what I did to cover it so you need however many envelopes you want I chose five envelopes I got these at by the pound store um, I thought I could definitely do something with these, and yay, I'm doing something with them. So I'm choosing five. You can use however many you want. And what you're going to do is you're going to take um, the first, make sure the flaps are open. These flaps were stuck, but that doesn't matter because they're being glued together. So you're going to put glue um, on the flap. It works even better if you have the, the uh, envelopes that have just the square, because see the pocket is like this. But I'll show you how I dealt with that. So um, you're going to put glue on. My glue is really. Um, glue on the flap. There we go. Um, it had um, kind of come over the edge, the glue, to start with. This is the hardest part for me is the gluing. Um, so because you have to squeeze this bottle, it's getting kind of near the end. So. Anyways, put in glue on the flap right near the crease of the flap, but not over or on the crease of the flap. And I like to make sure that I get the edges really good. Okay. I have to use two hands to squeeze this glue out sometimes because one is not enough. All right. So you're going to take your envelopes, are all going to open. To the left, um, and you take your other envelope with the opening. This is to my left, um, and you're going to glue down, line it up. Don't put it right on the crease, put it slightly just a little a hair away from the crease so that when you fold the envelope, it folds flat. Okay, so you continue to do that for the rest of the envelopes and I should have got another bottle of glue and gotta use two hands I love this beacon two-way glue however when it gets like even halfway it, sorry that's my cats having a cat fight again very annoying. Oh, got me not done. So do the next envelope. You're going to save your last envelope, however many you use, um, and you're going to um, cut the flap off of the last envelope. Okay, so I just push it like this, push it down, and then have one more, and then the flap, the top one. Um, so. What I'll do is I'll just go through the process, cover it, and then I will come back and show you the embellishments and the photos. And 
then the next one, and then I have one more. So, again, not quite on the flap. And I just fold it over, make sure it's glued on good. These are all going to be covered, so it really doesn't matter, except for when you get glue over the edge. Okay. Then the last envelope, you're going to cut the flap off. You can either cut it by hand or put it on your paper trimmer or whatever you want to do. Um, you just cut the flap off of that. Okay, so done that. Now this one, all the pockets you see are over here. This one, the pocket is going to go face to face with this one so that when you have your cover it's going to be the blank side without the flat, without the uh, pocket. So all your pockets are going to be on one side of the album. And then I'll show you how I dealt with the fact without cutting the paper that the pockets are at an angle. Um, and not having to cut my paper because I didn't want to do that. I just wanted it to be all the same size, make things easier. And then you're going to do the same thing. Line up this one. Again, where you cut the flat block. And voila. So the envelope is going to go, the book is going to go like this. And actually. Is that how I did this one? Let's see. Where's the pocket? Okay, so the pocket's here. So this, yeah. So this one goes, I don't know if you could do it. If you did it like this, like this, like this, and you still have a pocket on the outside. Either way. Okay. Sorry. So the way I'm folding it is that pocket inside. Hmm. I'm rethinking this. Not that it matters, but if I do it like this and then all the pockets, and then this one won't have a pocket. So when I open it up, Pocket here, pocket here, pocket here, pocket here. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I think I just need to refold this one. Anyways, I'll figure that out. Oh, I know. Okay, never mind. Sorry. I shouldn't be thinking while I'm. Should not be thinking while I'm. Uh, <laughs> So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to glue this one to cover the pocket. But, before I do that, I have something else I have to do. And that is, I didn't like the look of the paper right on this color. So, I used my um, Distress Stain. Tim Holtz Distress Stain, um, and it is called um, Broken China. Okay, so what I did was I went over all the edges with the Broken China, and I just put a piece of cardboard underneath. Make sure I went over the creases. Give it a good, you know, inch or, so or more going inside. Um, and I went over the pocket and stuff too. Not that it really matters, but. Okay. Without making a mess, which is inevitable. Just go 
going over all the edges. Get in the creases. So it doesn't, sorry about that. And watch this, I'm, I'm expecting a call from my dad. Probably gonna get the call while I'm doing this. I'm gonna try to go quickly here. All right, so. Okay, just make sure you get all the edges and all the creases. And if there's glue in there, the paint won't stick to it. And that's okay. Alright, then I'm just going to dry this side really quickly um, with my heat gun so I don't have such a mess when I flip it over. It dries pretty quickly anyways. Some of the heavier spots and Need a little bit more. I don't know if it's because of the glue right there. And yeah, it's not going to take the ink because of the glue. That's okay. All right. So that side's dry. Well, flip it over. As you can see, I got ink, but it doesn't matter because everything's going to be covered. And then this is the blank side. So I'm just going to go all around the edges. Trying to keep my little piece of cardboard underneath the whole thing so I don't go on my desk with the paint. Okay. Looks good. Try it really quickly. Yes, I'm videotaping. Oh, sorry. What do you want? I'm doing three seconds offering a uh, heavy duty embosser. Where? Nashville. Okay. Heavy duty embosser. Okay. 
thought I'd bring it to your attention. Yes, I would. Uh, can you make arrangements? We'll talk later. Let them know you're interested so someone else doesn't take it. Okay, sorry about that. So, that's dry. And, sorry, I dropped the paper. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I get this in the right direction here. So, yeah, like this, like this, like this, like this. All right, so the first one is going to have an opening here, but I'm going to cover that up. It's not going to be a pocket. So, again, all open, all pockets on this side here, and you're going to fold the first one back, okay, back, and then like that. So basically all your pockets are going to be on the inside like that. So now for this one I'm going to glue the pocket shut. So this is my first page so I can put the glue on the paper. It really doesn't matter because um, this is my cover. And um, So I don't know what that was. A heavy duty embosser on free cycle. He pays he watch he uh people give stuff. We're we actually have a couple things on free cycle too. Um, and people don't want something, they don't want to sell it, they put it on free cycle in your area and you if you're interested you contact them and you go get it. Just as easy as that. All right, so we got the first page on. This goes together fairly quickly. Um, then the next page is going to be this one. Now, because this one has a pocket, and I don't want to, I'm going to put the glue on the envelope, and I'm going to come close to, but not go over or any, you know, on the edge of that line, so I still have my pocket. And I'll show you how that works. So, putting the glue, being careful not to go too close to the edge there, so that the glue doesn't seep to close the pocket. So, and the same thing on this edge, we don't want the glue to seep over and seal that pocket. Okay, then I'm going to take the paper and put it on. This paper is K and Company Sea Glass. I love this paper. I had three 12 by 12 stacks of this paper and I just got into the third one. So, you notice you still have your pocket here. Nothing's sticky, so you still have your pocket. So that's why you put your glue on your envelope and not on your paper so that you can just um, make sure that you don't seal that. Hoping I have enough glue here to finish up. So this one was is ending ending up being ten pages. five envelopes, five pages on each side, and the measurements on this one was five, I cut the paper five inches by eleven and about eleven and a three quarter inches. So that's how big these envelopes are. Again, still having your pocket. Okay, next one.
really getting low on this glue and I really have to squeeze with all my might to get the glue out. Oh gosh. Like I said, I love this glue, but I hate, that's what I hate about it is that when you get to the end, you really gotta squeeze. Let me make sure I got this right. On the other one, this, that, and the stripe, yeah. I just wanted to make them all the same. Okay. Just a tad. Beating that out. And again, still have my pocket. And then one more time here. It's really running out of glue now. When I get low, what I do is I combine bottles. I just set a bottle on top of the other open, an open bottle on top of another open bottle and let it seep out. All right, so then once again, you still have your pocket here. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. Let me do this one first because I know this one goes here. And this one, you can either glue the paper or the envelope. I'm just going to continue gluing the envelope. Um, and this is, you're covering the whole back because there's no pockets on these. There's no openings. Okay. Stick that one there. making sure I get these. I want to have them in the same order as I had the other ones. goes together very quick. You could use any size envelope. I was just really glad I had picked these envelopes out of the bin. At uh, I thought, oh, I could find a use for those someday. And actually, it was. I thought of these when I was um, striped. Like I said, I just want to make sure. All right. This goes together very nicely and very easily. I just have two more pages to cover and then uh, I will come back when I either am doing some of the embellishments and photo mats or um, when it's done depending on um, what I decide. I don't even know what I'm going to do yet for that part so that I have to figure that out. And then this one. I just love, love, love. This is double-sided paper. I don't believe they sell it anymore. Um, but I had bought it on Amazon way back when. And I do have an uh, uh, 
album that I had started and didn't finish yet uh, for myself for one of my trips. So someday here I'm going to, once I get everything cleaned up, I'm going to be doing some, and probably within two weeks, um, I'm going to be doing heavy de-stashes. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to have lots and lots of boxes. I did open up the Zibit store, which I don't know, for some reason is not working out, so I'm just going to go do de-stashes because um, I have a ton of stuff I have to get rid of. Um, Jack's still not working, and so, um, you know, we're doing okay, but we could just use the extra money. There. It's as simple as that. So, flip it over. This is the first page, and you're going to fold it in like that, and you lift it up and fold it. So it's a Z-fold. So when you open it up, there's a pocket here. There's a pocket here, flip it over, there's a pocket here, and there's a pocket here. Flip it over, this is the back side, and it opens up all the way on the back side. Plenty of room for pictures and fun stuff. Alright, so that's my tutorial, and I will be coming back when I have it embellished in pictures. Thanks for watching. Bye.